Oh, now he's tangling with a bear. How funny is that? Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious! He crunched him and then threw him. Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, I am lumberjacking my way back home. I've been out um, gathering resources, doing the doing the thing. Uh, sounds like we got a storm coming in, which is fine with me because that means our windmills will generate more electricity. Uh, even though I think my base is actually maxed out on power right at the moment, or at least it was when I left. Uh, so the <coughs> excuse me goal for today's episode is to get our magnum upgraded to the next level and i think i want to try out some of those um premium arrows too i've got quite a few premium feathers now from the chickens and just you know they the description says they're for large game and i just want to see how good they actually are so we're going to try those out today and depending upon how our time goes i really want to um raid charlie and bravo again too i haven't done that in a little while um, but we might not get to that in this episode. We'll see how things go. So anyway, yeah, everything is going pretty good. Uh, I've killed a couple of moose. I showed <clears throat> the one of those kills. And um, it's not too bad, you know, as long as you get get the drop on them um, and get a couple shots off before they close and then finish them off with a shotgun. Uh, it's difficult to do that without getting tagged, but as long as you can bring them down before they bring you down, uh, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, and I believe I now have three of the, of the roast rib dinners made up and sitting in the fridge waiting for us. Uh, iron continues to be my biggest pain in the ass. Um, let's see if we can... What the hell? Let's see if we can get to this. Can't quite reach it from there. I wonder if we can do this. Hmm. Maybe this side? Yeah, that's kind of being a pain, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I, I think I have enough to do what we need to do to get the Magnum upgraded to the next level. Oh shit, that scared the hell out of me. Well, I guess we have an attack coming in. Where are those bastards? They must be over on the other side. Scared the hell out of me, man. Let's get up here. Alright, we got a good headshot off on him. Headshot off on him. And here, we gotta take a bandage. We're going to have to go after this guy. And you dead. Okay, so... This is most likely an alpha attack. I haven't really raided alpha in a long time just because... You don't get quite as much stuff from them as you do from the other two. But they, they seem to attack me quite a bit, man. Um, I don't know what pissed them off, especially since I've been leaving them alone for a long time. I suppose that could be Bravo, though. It's hard to say for sure. Okay, let's get back up here. Um, I don't see any... Well, yeah, that's that's pretty banged up. We're going to have to fix that. If I can get to them quick enough to where they engage me, then a lot of times I can prevent any significant base damage, but... That doesn't always work. Okay, so let's see. What do we got going on here? Yeah, we got almost full power. Let's get uh, one of you guys turned back on here. And we have eight things of iron here. I, <clears throat> let's see what we got in here, too. Okay, another four. So 12. That's good. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe even setting up a 
a second miner and have them do nothing but iron. I got the I got 58 fragments there, but we're going to be pretty much using that up for what we have to do today. Let's wash our hands here. Uh, I have two new chickens, a level they're both level ones, and we have a, a full stack of whole chickens in here. So I need to make that. As you can see, I've got the three pot roast dinners there. Can I eat one of those now? Oh, I love that. We're up to 103 now, guys, on health. And 101? 100. 100 on stamina. Such good food. Such good food. Okay, let's um, put a couple things in here. That goes in there. As usual, I'm just straight up burning um, all meat at this point. It's the best thing I can do with it. Um... Okay, yeah, so let's put that in there. We got, you know what, we're going to actually need some parts for this upgrade. So that was actually fortuitous that we got a few of those off those bastards. Uh, let's put that in there. Let's put in that, that in there. How's our wood? It's getting down there. Um, I'm kind of low-ish on wood. I mean, lower than I would like to be. Let's also make ourselves a couple more bandages. I like to have five of those on my toolbar. We have some matches here, so we'll put those in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. So, see, I've got 49 premium feathers, so I'm going to try those things out and see how good they actually are. Well, the thing is, is as you can expect, they're not cheap to make, though. So, let's see. You go in there. You go in there. All right. And then we have another piece of liver. Do I have... I have got oh shit I got like three stacks of liver in here that's really more than we need man I'll tell you what we got seven antidotes but you never have too many of those right so let's make another antidote with this liver um okay so let's see we want to we're gonna grab the magnum out of here and we're gonna pop it in the upgrade bench and we need <clears throat> uh, six weapon parts, 12 pearls, six ropes, and four ingots. The ingots are going to be the hardest thing for us, uh, but hopefully, I think we can make this work. Um, and we're going to go raid Charlie in it and Bravo. Maybe we'll hit Alpha 2, I don't know, just and hopefully we can get some ingots back from him. Okay, so it, it said four, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go one, two, three, four ingots. And that still leaves us enough fragments left over that we can make another lockpick because I only have I'm only down to one right at the moment <clears throat> I want to actually take an antidote out to our outpost too so we have one out there in case we need it all right so you guys are deliberately burning um you know what I'm gonna do I've got quite a few fuel logs and I'm sort of kind of low on wood so I'm just gonna use those it's sort of kind of wasteful but we're gonna do it anyway man we're gonna do it anyway Okay, so let's take all the burned stuff and feed that into here. It's really odd that it's, it gives us more mass burned than it does raw or cooked. I wished it didn't because then I didn't have to take the time and expend the <clears throat> resources to, to burn it first. But that's the way it goes. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, this is what we need for the premium arrows. Fortunately, it doesn't take any mass or electricity. Um, so why don't we make some of those whilst we're waiting? I've got some crystal. We're gonna have to go cave diving again uh, At some point here fairly soon um, We need some iron fragments so let's make um, Actually hold on a second. I don't know if I want to expend all this crystal quite yet Do we need it for the upgrade? We don't Um. Okay, hold, yeah, let's hold off on the arrows for just a second. All right, we got pearls. Uh, we need, like, was it six ropes? That's expensive. Oh, my goodness. I can't imagine what the next upgrade is going to be. Yeah, I want six freaking ropes. I mean, we can afford it. We got 69 sinew, but still, goodness. Okay, let's uh, make six of those. And we need 12 pearls, so we'll split that in half and put the rest back for now. Um... We should go lake diving just to get pearls without even going into the cave. 
Okay, so that gives us that, and then we're gonna need six weapon parts. So we got five of those from our friends, and I have a whole stack here. I've been actually just throwing that stuff in the recycler. Because, I mean, I don't need them to make new weapons, <clears throat> but we do need them, of course, for these upgrades when the time comes. Okay, so once we have all of the ropes, we'll be able to do our second level upgrade. Cool. While we're doing that, let's check on our critters. So, food and water's pretty good here. You know, this isn't... Having these guys on free range, and, you know, they're, they're supposed to be kind of wandering around, but I guess they just don't have enough room in here, but the game still considers them on free range, or they wouldn't be out of the thing. Um, but, you know, keeping them fed and watered is actually not that bad uh, with them, with, with that setting. So, let's go up and check our garden. Uh, so, we're going to bring some water with us. Uh, we'll bring all that fertilizer and some of this. I don't have any seeds other than medicinal plant seeds, which I don't really want to plant that stuff. I'd rather stay on the veggies. So we got lots of potatoes. We're a little low, we're probably low-ish on, yeah, tomatoes and onions. That's what we really want to focus on. Um, so let's go see what's going on up here. All right, so we've got quite a few tomatoes here. That's good. What's in there right now? And two more tomatoes. All right, let's harvest this side too. A little bit of cotton, some onions, carrots. Tomatoes, those are not quite done yet. Uh, carrots are. Okay, so we said onions and carrots are what we really need. So I'm going to turn all of these into onions. We'll put those back. And then we're going to need one, two, three, six. We're going to need nine. Um, yeah, here, okay. So let's uh, split one and split one. We're just going to make a metric ass ton of tomatoes here. And we still have five left over. Okay. Um, let's throw this in here and this in here. And we'll top the rest off and then we'll give it a couple of waters. And the garden's good for a while now. We don't have to mess with it. We just let the daylight take care of it, of course. It doesn't grow as fast as it did with the lights, but it doesn't also, also doesn't use electricity. And I'm good with that. Okay. Let's put... Let's take two of these to feed the chickens, because you get they get a lot from the tomatoes, uh, more than anything else. And maybe we'll throw in a couple carrots too. Yeah, right about there's good. Okay, they should be good for a while. Chickens are taken care of. Put that in there. Put the cotton in there. We have 113 cotton, which is a beautiful thing. Oh, let's put the rest of our sinew there and our rope back in there. And uh, this can go back down here. Okay, we should have everything now to do the magnum upgrade. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, baby, this is expensive. Okay. And then that will get... I'm, I'm assuming this adds another 20% damage. This thing's going to be a beast now. So two upgrade levels. Maybe we'll see if we can uh, get the upgrade level... All the way up before we end this season. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so next it's going to take nine rope, six ingots, 20 crystals, and 10. Okay, I mean, 1950 power. I mean, it's doable. It's just really expensive. Um, yeah, plus 40%. It's a level two magnum now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're going to have to go try this out on the, on the bad guys. I love it. Okay, we'll put that back in there to light things up. Um, now... We want to try some arrows, so let's let's do say maybe ten. So we'll grab ten premium feathers. We've got the crystal there. Uh, let's split that in half. Uh, we need ten of these, which means we can't now. Don't have enough to make a. Oh yeah, we do. We still have enough to make a lockpick. Uh, and then, what else did it say it needed? I think it needed... 
Oh yeah, it needed scrap too. Okay, let's do it. The nice thing about this is it doesn't take any mass or power. Suitable for hunting large game, far more damage and range than standard arrows. Okay, well, we'll check it out and see how it does. Look at this, you guys, man. Awesome. Level 2 Magnum. 40% more damage. <laughs> awesome. <coughs> All right, so I've got four nades here, um, and I, I have a, a breaching charge made up for Charlie. Uh, I don't know if we have time to do that today, though. Can we get a sense for what time of day it is? Yeah, it's a little too cloudy out to tell, so... What I think we'll do is let's go test out the premium arrows on a big animal. And then I might cut the camera and wait till tomorrow morning and then we'll go hit Charlie. Um, I wouldn't mind having a few more, uh, a couple more grenades. Um, but we really, I really would like to make another lockpick because I only have one. Uh, and we need 75 mass on on top of that. How close are we right now? Yeah, only 20 away. By the time we get done screwing around with the new um, arrows, uh, it should be ready to go. Alright, let's put that back for now. These water canisters in here. Uh, so we have four. Let's wait till we get five anyways. Okay, so now we open this up and we click on this to switch to the premium arrows. Now look at those things, man. Those are cool. All right. Uh, we got another couple of these guys, and let's top this guy off with some fuel before we go out. Doing good. We'll build that power back up and let the mass, the free mass, build itself back up. All right, let's go try out these arrows. So we're supposed to be able to use these on large game. There's a bear. He's a level three bear. Uh, I guess we could test it out on him. Let's just see how much damage it does to a level three bear. It took him down a decent way. So from 232, one. 34, I think, is what it said. So it took him down almost 100 points. But that means that we we wouldn't have been able to kill a level 3 bear in with two of those arrows. He still would have been up, assuming it does the same damage every time, which maybe it doesn't. Maybe there's some little bit of RNG going on there and crits and stuff like that. Interesting. Okay, let's go try something else. Maybe if we can um, find another moose or something, we could try it. Yeah, there's another bear. What level is he? He's a level two. He's 205. Um, can we kill him with two of these arrows? Let's find out. No, he's down to 109. Not quite. We didn't quite get him. Okay. But if we upgraded our bow to a level 2 bow, then we probably could take out a level 2 bear with two of those arrows. Again, assuming that the damage is consistent every time, and I'm not actually sure if it is or not. 
One of these arrows could probably drop a deer. Um, ish. Maybe. I don't know. It does seem to be hitting for about 100 damage. Right around in there. Let's get this guy here. Can we pop up here? Um, is that even iron? Maybe we can get at it from this side. Um, wait, where did it go? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That hurt. Um, oh, okay. We got it there. Can we... Almost get to it. There we go. Okay. If this wasn't iron, I wouldn't go to so much trouble, but we really need the iron. Okay, there's a deer. Let's see if we can drop this deer with one of these arrows. Oh, shit, I missed. I'm sure we could kill a level 2 wolf with one. I don't know if I want to, though. I don't want to waste it on a stupid level 2 wolf. I think that arrow might have broke. It's expensive, man. Holy crap. Alright, let's see if we can spot the deer again. It ran off down this way. Oh, there it is. It says they travel a lot further, too. Alright, we popped the deer in one, with one arrow. And that was a level 3 deer, too. This is really close to Alpha's base here. Even though the bastards just attacked us earlier today. Okay. Well, we can definitely we can take out a level three deer in one shot, so that's good to know. How many do we have left? Oh, that's it. We shot him up already. I guess we did. <laughs> yep, we shot him up. Okay. Um, yeah, I I think that in order to really maximize those the benefit of those arrows you really need to upgrade the bow too Ooh, look at this lock chest hot damn yeah you need to upgrade the bow too to really take advantage of it you know because it's claiming large game but look at all those nails nice 27 nails out of that chest and we got 10 iron fragments which we desperately need 20 biofuel and some magnum rounds ah, that wasn't bad cotton seats i'll take it I'll take it. So we might, um, you know, we might make more of those later on. Uh, once I get the bow upgraded, I'd like to, I mean, ideally I'd like to get all of the weapons upgraded to the max, but I don't know if that's going to happen. That's so damned expensive to do, but we'll see how things go. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I will meet you in the morning, and we're going to go raid Charlie and maybe Bravo if we have time. So I'll see you in the morning. All right. There's a mountain lion right there. I wonder if we can get the mountain lion to aggro on him. That would be funny. Okay, I see two of them walking way over there. The lion's right by their base. Hmm. Alright, let's just wait a moment. That lion might actually attack them do our work for us. I can't tell from here what level the lion is. Oh, 
No, go the other way, lion. Go get him. All right, well, if we can pull him here. Come on, you stupid lion. Go the other way, dumbass. Okay, hopefully he'll run over towards us. And the lion will aggro him. No, lion, turn around. Go after the other guy. <laughs> He's not cooperating. Yeah, good luck burning my metal building, dumbass. setting. Alright, let's wait till he... It's really hard <clears throat> to hit moving targets in this game. Sometimes you can't even hit him when your aim is dead on too. Okay, he's down. So I saw someone else running over there. He's inside the base. He's not going to, unless he comes out the door, he's not going to be able to do anything to us. All right, well, let's go then. I don't know where our kitty friend went. He's right over there by that wolf. Oh, no, that's a bear and a wolf. Okay, let's just run this way. All right, we killed one of those guys right around here-ish. Um, <clears throat> we have to be careful of the Claymore, of course. And we killed another one up here. Okay, here's this guy's bag. Get a shotgun shell out of that deal. Um, oh, they are coming out. Okay. Get our level two magnum ready. Go. Came out that door. Is he coming coming around behind us? Where the hell did he go? Did he just go back in? No idea where that guy went. Um, Houston? Okay. He's maybe he ran away. Maybe he saw me coming and said, I don't want any part of that. Uh, all right, we need to figure out where the Claymore is. Oh, shit. Oh, that always scares me every time it happens. That other guy we killed right out here, but I don't know. That backpack may have despawned by now. Boy, this is tricky, man. <coughs> this is really tricky. Trying to find that damn Claymore. Um, all right, let's go over here, and that, is that it right there? No, that's a rock. Oh, man, this is, like, so dangerous right now. Cannot tell where that thing is. Alright, well, we know that it's not on a direct path coming up 
out of the stairs, particularly if we kind of stay over to the right. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do to blow this door. I'm a little bit nervous about <clears throat> that other guy. Oh, come on, bear. Get the hell out of here. All right, well, let's blow the door. Can't see. All right. I think that's good. Oh no! I hear more footsteps. Shit. Let's take our medipack pack now. I heard a door close. Yep. There's somebody around somewhere. I just don't know where they are. So let's be ready to go. Hear them going either up or downstairs. Oh, he's right there. Is he gonna come down those stairs? Okay. I oh, know. I hear somebody else. you man okay wow there's a lot of dudes in here they, they weren't all out trying to raid us this time like before okay I think that's all of them I hope okay let's start looting so we're getting some um, alloy sheets, which is good. Uh, I don't really see much iron in there. I think I hear more footsteps. Yep, I did. Where is this one at? How many dudes are in here? Get him, bear! Nice! That's not... I still hear footsteps, though. There's another dude in here. I wonder if he's in one of the locked rooms. There he is. Okay. Man. I don't need, I don't know how many guys I killed, but that is a lot of goods, man. A lot of dudes. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead. I guess we can just work our way down. Um and hopefully we'll, you know, find find some more grenades. So we're going to run out that way. I feel like I've done this a few times now. Alright, let's break this door down. Alright. No grenades in here, but we've got lots of adhesive and shotgun shells and glass plates. So still pretty good haul there. Can't do anything with that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up here that we can do anything with. Uh, let's take that, that, and that. And turn that fire out. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's drink that and eat these right now. Um, we're actually kind of low on carbs, aren't we? Take that stuff, too. 
Give me the iron, baby. Oh, we're already out of room here. Uh, what is this? That is zinc fragments. Let's eat these and pick those up, and we'll take this stuff down to our our chest and our little outpost. So we don't need to come back up to this floor here. So we still have to break into that room and uh, and this room here. So two more rooms. Okay, let's run out this way. I don't know if that guy's backpack's still going to be here that the bear killed. He's still sort of damaged. Alright, but dude, you're going to cause too much trouble for us. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to go, bro. You too. Don't have time for this shit. Okay, let's just throw stuff in here and then go back for another load. Good enough. We might as well butcher these critters. Since we went to all the trouble to kill them, waste ammo on them, or use ammo on them, it wasn't a waste. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, put that there. Oh, we can put two things in there. We'll put that in there and that in there. Okay. Wait, did I already have hide in there? I did. Okay. All right, let's go get those other two rooms. Oh, we got a guy outside. Another guy. How many dudes has Charlie hired, man? Taking on. Oh, we gotta be careful about the claymore. Wherever it may actually be. Okay, let's get this uh, floor up here. We also need to take all of that stuff out. <clears throat> actually, let's let them process that. Use their power. Another grenade. There we go. That's what I was hoping we would find. Okay, now we have enough to to do all of these without having to do a whole bunch of picking. Don't think we're going to have time to hit Bravo in this episode. What I might do is hit them and just show you the actual loot, not show you the whole thing. We'll see. Nobody in here, nothing in there. Take all of that stuff. So we got some ingots. Good. That's another thing I really wanted to get from these dudes. And then we have one more down here. And give us some more ingots, please. Ingots are a whole shit ton of iron fragments. Nobody in here. Okay. Well, oh, oh my goodness, look at that. We got a solar panel. Holy crap. And another grenade, too. Wow. That was worth the price of admission right there. Goodness gracious. And we have a grenade uh, to go get um, Bravo, too. That's cool, man. All right. Uh, let's grab stuff out of this. Uh, grab stuff out of here. Uh, looks like you're rendering a little more fat. Let's let you finish. I'm going to grab 
this out of here. I don't have time to wait for that. Let's turn you on in overdrive. Turn you on and you're already on overdrive. Run the power down. Nope, you're not going to do any more fat. Okay, extinguish you. Oh, yeah, what the hell? We'll grab this. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Run straight out this way and then kind of curve this way. Claymores are a lot easier to see in the snow than in the not snow. Okay, let's see. Um, let's grab the really valuable stuff. We're going to eat that. Uh, I want the ammo. I want those. I want those and those and that and that. Uh, no iron. Oh, yeah, those are super valuable. We'll take those, the glass, the adhesive. I'll I, I will come back for the rest of this, too. I'm just grabbing the stuff that I want immediately. Um, I guess we could take that for the mass. We could take that. Oh, good, that's stacked. Uh, this will stack. I don't really care about the steak or any of that stuff. Let's grab the zinc and the oil. And I guess we'll grab that. And yeah. I can come back for that at some other time. But none of that stuff is super valuable. So if I end up not coming back for it or forgetting or whatever, it's not, not that big a deal. Okay. Um, ah, you know what? What the hell? Let's just go hit Bravo. This might be a little bit longer episode than normal, but let's do it because we still have plenty of daylight left to, to hit them. Ah, shit. We're getting attacked. Don't think it's Charlie. Maybe, it, maybe it's Bravo who's attacking us. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Get him, wolf. Let's let the see if the wolf does the work. Nope, he got the wolf. Okay. What are you going to do, man? Get out from behind that tree. Uh, all right. Oh, now he's tangling with a bear. How funny is that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious! He crunched him and then threw him. Oh, funny, and I'll get out. Okay, um. We're either gonna have to run the bear off or kill the bear in order to get the guy's loot. And the bear's damaged. You know what? Here. Let's get his loot. Okay. Where's his bag at? Here it is. Oh, man. That was hilarious. Yeah, so we got two shotguns and a wall out of the deal. That was actually worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, I guess we better take care of this guy, too. There's more f gunfire going on. I don't think that's on my base. What the hell's going on, man? It's like a war zone. I don't know, but we gotta hurry. We're running out of daylight. Oh, over here. There's dudes in the water. They just killed this bear here. And now they're running back to their base. Okay, let's wash our hands really quick.
Damn. This is a bleed happy game. And we got a magnum round back for our trouble. All right, I don't know if there's going to be any more boys around here or not. I think the bears kind of helped us with some of it. Oh, wait, did I just see someone running over there? I don't think so. Okay, <clears throat> we've really got to hurry. Uh, watch it for Claymore, watch it for Claymore. Because I've only got one... There's the Claymore right there. Only got one grenade, so we're going to have a little more banging to do. Okay, let's get to it. we got to hurry. This is going to be kind of cutting it close, but I think we can do it. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the darkness, guys. Okay, <clears throat> we have got to go. We're just going to grab all of that, don't care what it is, just grab it and run like hell because they are about ready to respawn. I know I missed their workbench, but we got to get out of here. <laughs> Absolutely got to get out of here. Whew. Okay, I think we're in the clear. I didn't even look to see what we got. That was close. All right. Wow. What a day, huh? What an exciting day. Um, I thought I saw some of those guys running around down there, but let's just leave them alone. I think we've had enough excitement for one day. Yeah, you can just piss off their level 3 wolf. Alright guys, well, yeah. Quite the raid, eh? Let's uh, get back to the base and we'll take a quick look at what we pulled out of there and then I gotta let you guys go. Alright. Let's turn the light on. So what did we get? We got some gear, some adhesive, some padded cloth, which is good. Probably some more ammo. I'm Most likely we got some more shotgun shells. It's kind of hard to, to say for sure, though. So, okay. Yeah. It, it, like I said, I can't really tell exactly because I didn't have time to sit there and look at it. But All right. Well, guys, that is it for this episode. We had a lot of stuff done in this episode. We tried out the the new arrows. We got the Magnum upgraded, rated Charlie, and a Bravo, and got some pretty good loot skis. So I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.